Hello, you are very welcome to another video by Learning English Pro. In this vocabulary video, we will cover vocabulary relating to cleaning and household chores. But before we begin, make sure to subscribe to our YouTube channel and hit that bell to get an instant notification direct to your inbox every time we post a new video. In this video, we will cover verbs, nouns, adjectives, and provide you with some interesting example sentences. In our first part of our series, we will look at cleaning related to the kitchen. Are you ready to begin? Our first word is a verb, to clean, a regular verb. Repeat after me, to clean. The definition is to make something clean, to remove dirt, marks, or other stains from something. Let's practice saying the verb again, to clean. Let's check out some sentence examples. Our first example is from the present simple tense. Sophia cleans the table. Sophia cleans the table. Our next example is from the past simple tense. Nicola cleaned the counter. Repeat after me. Nicola cleaned the counter. Next up, we have another verb. The verb to do. Repeat after me. To do. The definition of this word is to perform an action, the precise nature of which is often unspecified. Let's have a look at this word in action. Emma will do the dishes later. This is the future simple tense. Emma will do the dishes later. So to do the dishes is the action of actually cleaning the dishes. To do is an irregular verb. So in the past tense, it changes. Let's have a look at this example. John did the dishes today. John did the dishes today. Let's have a look at an example in the present simple tense. Gary does the dishes every day. So this verb is quite vague and depending on what tense you use, the verb can change a lot. So don't worry, we'll come back to this verb in a later video. Next up, let's have a look at some nouns that we might use when cleaning, like sponge. Repeat after me, sponge. Up next, we have another noun called rag. Repeat after me, rag. Now, some people also might call this a cloth. Repeat after me, cloth. These words are interchangeable, so you can use whichever one you prefer. Next up, we have another noun. This one is called mop. Repeat after me, mop. When you use a mop, we have a specific verb. To mop. This is a regular verb and the definition is to clean or soak up liquid from the surface by wiping. Let's have a look at this verb in action. I mopped the kitchen floor today. This sentence is in the past simple. I mopped the kitchen floor today. Next up, we have another noun, a broom. Repeat after me, broom. And next up, we have a very similar cleaning tool, the sweeping brush. Repeat after me, sweeping brush. So when you use a broom or a sweeping brush to clean a floor, we have a specific verb, to sweep. This is an irregular verb. And the full definition is to clean an area by brushing away dirt or litter. Our sentence example is in the past simple tense. David swept the kitchen floor yesterday. David swept the kitchen floor yesterday. Our next example is from the present simple tense. Emma sweeps the floor every day. Emma sweeps the floor every day. Let's have a look at some more nouns. Here is dustpan. Repeat after me. Dustpan. Up next we have a noun which is called different things in British and American English. In American English, this is called a vacuum cleaner. Repeat after me, vacuum cleaner. But in British English, it is called a Hoover, which is the name of a popular vacuum cleaning brand, Hoover. So this influences the verb you would use, whether in American or British English. 
the verb in American English is to vacuum clean. And the definition is to clean with a vacuum cleaner. And in British English, the verb is influenced by the brand name to hoover. Repeat after me to hoover. And the definition is the same to hoover means to clean with a vacuum cleaner. Let's have a look at some sentence examples to understand this better. In British English, we would say she hoovers twice a week. But in American English, we would say she vacuum cleans twice a week. If you have any questions about this difference, leave a comment below with your question and we will get back to you in more detail. Our next noun is washing machine. Washing machine. And this noun is used in British English. However, in American English, they use washer. Repeat after me, washer. And the verb we associate with this machine is the verb to wash. This is a regular verb. And the definition is to make something clean, to remove dirt, marks or stains from something. Let's have a look at some examples. In the present simple tense, we could say, I wash my clothes twice a week. I wash my clothes twice a week. Our next example is in the past simple. She washed her uniform yesterday. She washed her uniform yesterday. Let's take a look at some adjectives we might use when we are cleaning. Our first adjective is dirty. Repeat after me, dirty. And the definition of this adjective is covered or marked with an unclean substance. Our sentence example is, the kitchen was really dirty. The kitchen was really dirty. Our next adjective is the complete opposite, clean. Repeat after me, clean. And the definition of this adjective is to be free from dirt, marks or stains. Let's have a look at a sentence example. The kitchen was very clean. The kitchen was very clean. That's the end of this video. But in our next video, we will take lots of the words that you've learned in this video and make lots of new example sentences plus more verbs, nouns and adjectives. We would just like to say a huge thank you to all our viewers and our supporters. We really appreciate it. If you have any comments or suggestions for a future video, make sure to leave a comment below. We would love to hear from you. And if you have a friend who is learning English, why not share this video with them and tell them all about Learning English Pro. Before you go, please like this video and don't forget to subscribe. If you have any questions about the content in this video, make sure to get in touch. You can find us on YouTube, Instagram, Twitter and Facebook. Follow us today and remember, keep learning English like a pro.